What's the crack? Welcome back. My name is Dan and today I want to talk about something that a lot of people do, especially photographers and videographers, which is what is in my camera bag. But I want to do it with a little bit of a difference and the reason is I see all of these what's in my camera bag videos or what gear I use videos and it's high-end gear that I know I can't afford or is it just a little bit beyond my reach. So I'm going to talk about the gear I use and how I make it work for me. Also, another difference, a lot of people talk about their gear, like what's in my camera bag 2020? There's four seasons in 2020 and different situations happen so your gear should really change. So we'll talk about that as well. So let's just get straight into it without any further ado. So first up, let's talk about the bag. This is my camera bag. It is an Ortex camera bag. I've never heard of that brand before. This bag uh, was given to me for free by my sister and her boyfriend. Um, she bought it for her boyfriend, he couldn't use it. So he gave it to me in exchange for another bag. I found one online that is pretty similar to this. It's $21.99. I'll put a link down in the description below. It's pretty handy, it's pretty big. It's a standard camera bag. Um, the only difference is from most standard camera bags, this one opens at the back, so all the belongings are kept perfectly safe when it's on the back. It's got a massive space for a main camera. A bit too big for me, but it's holding up well so far. Like most standard camera bags, it's got these inserts, these cushion bits that Velcro on and off so you can rearrange them however you want, depending on what gear it is you're carrying. Which is handy because, like I said, the gear you're carrying might change week to week, month to month, even day to day. So being able to customize your bag is a plus. This one comes with a USB cable built in. On the outside there's a little um, port. I don't know if you can see that. There's a little port on the side where you can charge up your phone or whatever it is that you're carrying. I don't really use it that much. On the inside, yeah, this is quite difficult to do. On the inside of the uh, opening flap bit, it's like a big pouch. A little bit dirty, you can tell I've been using it. There's like a big elasticated mesh pouch which is handy just for throwing stuff in. Uh, I'll show you what I keep in there in a second. And the bit that contacts your back, really really cushiony, really really soft, really really comfortable. I carry this bag every day, everywhere I go, no matter where I go, and I walk everywhere I don't drive. This bag is really holding up really well. Um, fits in with my lifestyle. I throw it around like goodness knows what when I go and photograph in bars it ends up on the floor, it ends up on tables covered in beer and whatnot. And it's holding up pretty well so far. The um, shoulder straps are cushioned and adjustable, an adjustable chest strap, which is good if you're doing a lot of a lot of walking. Even better, something I don't really use that much. It has a a waist strap, like a proper um, like burgundy type rucksack. So it really is really, really sturdy. And uh, it's lasted me long, this long so far. Front pouch, you can keep pens, pencils, notepads. I'm not sure if it's meant to be for a laptop. I think you could fit a laptop in there. I've never tried. Maybe I'll try. So that's the bag. The camera I use is an Nikon D5300. It is the only digital camera I have. It was the first one that was bought for me as an anniversary gift from my wife. And um, it's doing the job. There's a link in the description. The same camera with an 18 to 55 kit mounts on Amazon is 667 pound, 668 pound. It's like an entry level hobbyist camera. But it got me the whole way through college and I'm getting work with it. I, I use this to shoot most of the gigs that I do. It's doing the job. Right now I have the 18 to 55 kit lens on because it's the widest lens I have. And again, that does the job too. Not the greatest, but it's okay. Talking of lenses, apart from the 18 to 55 kit lens, which most cameras, especially crop sensor cameras, come with nowadays, I also have three other lenses. This one, which is the uh, 35mm 1.8. This is the fastest lens I have. So I use this most when I'm working in um, dark areas like a bar or a nightclub. This comes in really, really handy. It was about 130, 140 pounds. 
and it hasn't let me down so far. I uh, really do push this lens to the limit. Another lens I have is this one, which is a Nikon uh, 55 to 200. I bought this one on eBay for about 50 pounds. I think it was about that much. Really, really good condition too. It had some white marks on the, the rubber grip around the outside and the seller contacted me and said, oh, it's not mold or anything. It, should, uh, it shouldn't impact it in any way. And it just wiped off straight away. I use this for like landscapey nature shots. Uh, not really good for low light. I haven't used it in a while actually. But cheap lens that I'm pretty happy with. And the third lens I have is this little, is that a pancake? It's a 50 mil series E. Uh, so this is a manual lens for an old Nikon. It is pretty small, completely manual. So there's a ring on there for the focus and for the aperture. Um, again, I bought that on eBay for about 40 pounds. Not great for low light because it doesn't have a split prism. So you can't really see, it's hard to tell when things are in focus basically. Uh, which is a bit annoying. Um, but again, it's a 1.8, so it's pretty fast. I use it from time to time, not very often. I might invest in a proper 50mm lens, a nifty 50 as they're called. Next up, we have a Speedlight. This one is uh, a newer, newer, N-E-E-W-E-R, newer. I buy quite a lot of their stuff on uh, Amazon because it's pretty handy. It's not very expensive and it does the job. Um, like I said, I do a lot of stuff, uh, gigs in bars and nightclubs and things, so having one of these comes in pretty handy. This came with um, the remote triggers as well, so you could have this set up anywhere. Um, spins, pretty much does what a speed light's designed to do. This was uh, $42.99. Goes through some batteries though, so rechargeable batteries are maybe a, a must buy. And it comes in a little pouch. It's pretty handy. It's on my camper bag all the time, especially when I'm going to clubs and things like that. And again, it hasn't really let me down. It's the first one I've ever used, so there's a bit of a learning curve, but I think I've got the hang of it now. Another newer brand, it is um, some filters in this little pouch. Uh, they're for the kit lens. They were the first ones I ever bought. They were about 15 pounds, maybe. Comes with an, uh, an FLD filter, a UV filter, just like that one. Circular polarizer, which is probably what I've used most, especially when I was in college. I don't really use them that much anymore, to be honest. Because apart from doing videos, I don't really use the kit lens. But it's in the camera bag anyway, just in case. Okay, so that's pretty much the main gear out of the way. As you can see, it's inexpensive. It does what it says it's meant to do. Now we're on to like, you know, the knickknacks, the bits and pieces that you collect that end up either in your bag or in your office or whatever it is. Sometimes you use, sometimes you don't, or sometimes you never use, but you still carry anyway. This is a um, little bag. It's called a Molly bag, M-O-L-L-E, which stands for modular something. If anyone knows, uh, let me know. I suppose I could Google it, but if anyone knows, uh, you won't win anything. Um, this was part of a, another set. First time I went to London, I had all sorts of things. These all, there's another bag. And it's got all these loops and these sort of slide on. Your bag can get bigger and bigger. In here, I keep just random things. I've got a remote for the camera. Can you see? Remote for the camera, remote for my phone. We'll talk about that in a second. We've got Poncho, rain poncho, it's like a quid. You never know, you might need one. They're good to put on yourself or cover your gear if it's raining. Lens wipes, these are Zeiss lens wipes. I use these, clean my glasses, clean the LCD screen, clean the lenses. They're about 150 per pack. Box looks like that. You get 24 wipes, they're pretty handy. Throw them in your bag, you're good to go. I've got an epidemic sound um, portable battery, lights up and stuff, thanks epidemic sign. And coupled with that I've also got another newer product which is a portable charger. So this is um, specifically for the batteries in my camera and you can plug it into any USB outlet 
and charge up a single battery at a time. That's great if you're out traveling, you're out and about, maybe you don't have spare batteries, or you do and you've gone through them, you just need to get a bit of charge off, plug it into the, the battery pack, charge it up as you're going. Really, really handy. I use these when I go camping and things. Uh, I'm super lightweight and it doesn't weigh anything. You throw that in here, throw that in your bag, you're good to go. Sometimes I'll keep uh, other things in here, flashlight, um, pen knife. Depends what I'm doing and where I'm going. If I'm going camping, there may even be medical stuff in here, bandages, that type of thing. Um, on the outside, I've got a, like a hand sanitizer. I got it for free somewhere that just slots into the outside. I've got these Think Tank Red Whips. I got a pack of like 20, I think it was, of those. I'm not sure, they're about 24 pounds. No, they weren't, they were 12 pounds, 95. Uh, I used to carry all of them in my bag and I never really used them, so I just carry a few of them at a time. Sometimes you might need them. And I'd rather have it and not need it than need it and not have it, if that makes sense. It makes sense to me, I don't know. So that's that little emergency bag. Did I say how much the bag was? The bag itself was um, about six pounds. Pretty handy. I carry that every day. Just go straight into the bag and you're good to go. As I mentioned before, I have a, a Bluetooth um, remote for my camera. This is for, it works for iOS or Android. Although I haven't used it with my current phone, so I don't know if it still works. But that is for this little tripod that I bought to go with my camera, or my phone, sorry, I bought that to go with my phone. It's got one of these adjustable things. Just fire your phone in. And set that up wherever you're going. I have used it to get some shots, mainly for like Instagram stories and things. It's pretty handy. And then you can Bluetooth it up to the remote, set it up, hit the button, take a photo, take a video, whatever it is. Again, weighs nothing, costs nothing, it was about a fiver. Might as well have it in the bag. Little green box from Practical Photography. That's just a box for, I don't know, whatever you want in there. Just fire your stuff in there, close it up, fire that in the bag. Came free with a magazine. It's free. Free stuff. Who doesn't want free stuff? The microphone that I'm using is the Rode VideoMic Go. It was 48 pounds on Amazon. I'll put a link again down in the description. When I'm out and about, I put this on. I think people call these a dead cat. Is that what they're called? This one isn't called a dead cat. Is that a brand? I don't know. This is just a fluffy wind thing. That you slip over the microphone to keep the uh, wind noise to a minimum. And this was... Um, I think this was a newer brand as well. Was it? Yeah, this is a newer brand too, 899. Another bag I use is, again, newer, newer. Someone's gonna have to tell me how to say that. Also, there's a lot of their stuff in this video. This isn't in any way affiliated with them, unless they want it to be. This is a sling backpack, so it's got one a uh, strap that goes across your body and you can uh, unhook it so that it sl slings around and swings so that it sits in front of you and the main compartment opens this way so that you can get in, get your camera, fire a few shots off, put the camera back and the bag never has to leave you. Really good if you're doing street photography or you're somewhere where you can't put your bag down. Uh, the downside obviously is it's a smaller bag so it's got space for a camera and maybe three lenses or whatever else you're carrying. Very hard to fit everything in here. Um, there's just a, one more one more pouch at the top. But it's, uh, it's served me really well, actually. Yeah, I've used this. I've shot some parades and stuff with this. This has done the job. It's just still in pretty good condition. Weatherproof, waterproof. It comes with like the waterproof. Thing. Most camera bags now come with like a poncho for your bag. Not bad. That was um, like 25 quid, something like that. 25.99. Just consulted my notes. Yeah, 25.99 for a sling backpack. Not bad. Okay, as it's winter, right now getting colder, and will be for the next two months or so. 
I think it's really important to make sure that you adjust what you carry in your bag serves the purpose for what it is you're doing. So I'm outside a lot, I walk everywhere. Why would I not have a beanie, something to keep my head warm? Again, this one was free and you might have noticed it's uh, got a head torch included. Which is really handy. The head torch just pops out and you plug it into USB, charge it up. You don't have to wear it with a head torch. But it's handy. A free beanie. As well as the beanie, also carry a pair of gloves. Most gloves nowadays come um, like you can use your phone or like an LCD screen with them, they're touch screen. Uh, I did used to have a pair of fingerless ones that again came free with a photography magazine. But these are just really handy. Keep them in your pocket, keep them in your bag, whatever it is. Uh, if you're using your hands a lot, if you're out uh, photographing or videoing, so you need to keep them in good condition. Otherwise, you're not going to be able to operate anything. A pair of gloves, always good. If you're in a really cold place, carry too. You might need them. As well as the hat and gloves, I also carry uh, this thing, which is a, a polo pancho. I don't know if anyone's ever heard of that. I bought this at the Christmas market in Belfast, but you can get them online. I think they're 15 quid. For, yeah, 15 quid. And it's like a scarf, but it's, I don't know, it's like a tube. You fire it over your head. Here, I'll show you. I'll do it now. Probably I've just ruined my hair. So you wear it like this. Um, and it unrolls. So you can wear it like, I don't know, like a balaclava. Definitely warm. I shouldn't have this on in the house. 15 quid, roll it up, throw it in the bag, winter prepared. Well guys, that is pretty much it. That is all the gear I carry every day in my bag, specifically for winter. Uh, if you find this helpful at all, uh, or you like the video, hit the like button. If you have any questions about the gear, um, do leave a comment down below. I'm gonna try and link as many of them as I can in the description. When I say as many of them is because I can't find them all online. I don't know why, but most of them are gonna be there. If you wanna see more of uh, budget, budget gear, budget photography, that seems to be the way that I'm going. I don't know. Hit the subscribe button, really helps me out. And uh, see you next time, I think. I think that's everything, yeah.